This looks like the beginning of a lobster carbonara, starting with your friend and mine, bacon. We're gonna render out some bacon. We're gonna toss in some garlic, add some English peas, your friend and mine, chunks of lobster. We're then gonna grill a half lobster tail, put it on top. I have a surprise for you, and behind me is a, a lobster poaching liquid that I've been cooking lobsters in all week at my restaurant. We're gonna use this as the base, lobster butter cream. So what do you say we making bacon? First, that's right, carbonara time. We're gonna take our bacon and we're gonna saute it, render out the fat. We're then gonna use that fat to saute our vegetables. So a hot pan, a little bit of oil. We don't want too much bacon because we don't wanna take away from the lobster carbonara that we're trying to produce. While our bacon's rendering out, we're gonna chop up some lobster. By the way, I'm gonna use a thin spaghetti because I like the way it twirls. Rough chop, you wanna know that it's in there. We're then gonna take our half lobster tail and we're going to halfway remove it from the shell. Just pull it gently. It should come almost all the way out. And then we're gonna grill this bad boy. We're gonna use it for garnish later. A Little bit of oil, boom, lobster on the grill. So now we have our bacon with our bacon fat. We're gonna turn down the heat and we're gonna slowly saute our garlic and peas. Get it all. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. We just wanna get our, we wanna saute the garlic. We don't wanna burn it. But if you can smell all that beautiful bacon. Mmm, bacon. All right, so after our, our garlic and peas and bacon are nice and sauteed, we're gonna light it up. A little bit of brandy. That's what I'm talking about. Good thing we don't have the cameras up there no more. When the flame goes out, the alcohol has been cooked off. And then we're ready to throw in our lobster. Again, it's a delicate flour, so we don't want to overcook the lobster. Then we're going to put in our lobster cream. See that? All that's flavor. More flavor, more better. That cream's going to adhere to the lobster. And everything's going to cook in and around the same time. This, again, is a fast dish. We're going to put in our piscetti, spaghetti. We're gonna put in our piscetti. We're gonna put in our spaghetti that I par cooked al dente and oiled it so it wouldn't stick. And then we're just gonna give it a little toss around. I think I need a little more juice. Yes, yes I do. We're gonna flip our lobster tail. Nice, put a little color on it. Still keeping it delicate. See how the bubbles are getting thick? That's what we're looking for. Give it a little toss. Give it. I didn't season it yet because that lobster, there's lots of flavor going on there. But we still need a little bit of salt. And the bacon. Definitely some black pepper. And then we turn it off. Give it one more toss. I'm gonna put some cheese right into it. No, normally, we don't put fish and cheese, but we have bacon in it, so we use that as an excuse. A little Parmesan Reggiano. Give us a little bite. As, as you can see, the lobsters are all nice and cooked and soft. They're not overcooked like little handballs. And then we make the move to the plate. Get it all. Nice. Give the pasta a little twist. That way it stands up. And then we put all the stuff on top, all the goodies. All the while we're here, I'm gonna take the lobster tail off the grill. I'm gonna dip it in my, in my juicy buttercream. Yeah, more butter, more better. Now we're gonna put that bad boy right on top. Una segunda, we gotta go into the archives. Some flat Italian, flat Italian parsley. We 
give that a little rough chop. And then finish the dish. Lobster carbonara. Who would dunk it? Me, I'd have dunked it. I'm the one that dunked it out of here.